everybody, Miss Sabrina here from the KO Lee Aberdeen Public Library. Today I'm going to go over with you on how to make, and this is for the tweens and teens, third through 12th graders, your take and make kit this Thursday, February 4th. It is a tin can robot. Everything is in here that you will need to make your robot except for a tin can, a very small head screwdriver, and a double A battery, which I threw mine in my box already so I wouldn't lose it. And it comes with instructions. Everything comes in little bags. So together, I need my battery. We are going to see if we can build a robot together. So, let's open up all of our bags and See what we got here. Lots of little pieces. So if you have any younger brothers or sisters, make sure you keep these away from them because there's so many little pieces, you don't want them to choke on them. Okay. And this bag. And what's kind of nice is I was looking at the instructions a little bit um, as it goes from A to safety messages, B to how to use the battery, and when you're not using your robot, to take your battery out of your robot can. And then it goes to see the contents that are in your bags to D on how to start building your robot. What I think is cute is it comes actually with little wiggle eyes too. I think that's kind of cute. Okay, so let's see what our first step is. Assembly. Okay. Okay, so I did the first three steps, which is the battery part. So you're going to take two of your rings and put them on so that it looks like this. So you have your little black piece off to the side, two rings, and you're gonna wire your threads through so your battery piece with your switch is like facing you when you're putting it together. One trick I found that I was struggling with is when it said to put in on step one, to put the screws in, which is the little screws on the back side. Um, you put the one here and then the other one, I had to lift this piece off and move this other little gray thing off to the side a little bit so you can get to your other screw underneath there. So that right there was only the first three steps. You're inserting two rings and then you're putting on your battery pack. So the next is the motor and axle. So we'll see how long that takes us. And this one is definitely something you wanna do with a parent that can um, help you with this. Because even as an adult, I'm having difficulties with it because I've never put a kit like this together before. So this could be quite interesting. So we'll get ready to work on our motor and axle and we'll see how that goes. So the first thing is gently thread the wires from the motor through the square holes in the body casing. So it must be these wires that they're talking about, this little piece. So these two wires. Are already through. Okay, so we're good there. Now put the axle in the axle housing so that it lies in the cutouts on top of housing. Okay, so step one, your little pieces are already threaded through, so that's a plus. And then step two is, um, or I should say four is already done. Five is you take off this little back piece that I just showed you that looks like know kind of like this Here's the, and then you'll put your little axle wheels 
right in the center. And then you just put this right back on so it fits over those pegs. And then it says on step six, you push it down and then you're gonna put in four screws. So I'm gonna put the screws in and then we'll see you back for the next group. Okay, so now at this point, it should kind of look like this, where you have your two loops in the front, your battery pack is partially put on, and then your wheels. So the next section is connecting the wires. Red wire from the motor, and the black wire from the battery piece into one of the metal. And your metal eyelets are these little metal pieces right off to the side here. So you're gonna push your wires. Okay, so step eight was very confusing where you wanna connect the wires. So you'll see where you have the two, your two wires and you have your little metal pieces. You wanna stick just the tips of your wires, just the little metal piece in there together. And then there's these clear little plastic pieces. You'll stick those in there to hold your wires down. So then your wires should be connected, if you can see that. So the next one's complete the body rings. So then you will um, so we're gonna put these on and you're gonna use the nuts and bolts, which is I keep referring back to which ones are which pieces. Okay, so you'll be using your four bigger screws to attach. These with your little bolt. I can say I could definitely have used an extra hand with this one today. Since I've never done a kit before. This was kind of interesting and fun. I just hope it works. <laughs> so we'll attach these pieces. Oh boy. So looking at the steps, we're only about halfway done. We'll have to see how long it takes you guys to do this as long as it took me. Hopefully it doesn't take you as long. So we'll go ahead and put these four in and then we'll come back and work on the next one. With this one, you'll have to notice on step nine, you put the top body ring in together. I hope I did that right, or is it the bottom one? I can't really get the picture. Nope, it's the top one. Okay, so I goofed. It's the top one where you need to put in your straw holder. So I'm gonna have to go back and redo that. I thought it, you start with the top and then work your way down. So note that when you do step nine, you do the rings on the bottom first, put them together and then do your top rings because you will need to add in your straw connector. Okay, so I got mine fixed. So you'll have your little straw holders for your arms up on the top. Make sure your little bolts are about as tight as you can get them. I know it's really hard with your fingers. I'll try to get mine the best I can. The next thing you're going to need is your long leg. It kind of has a little ball tip on the top and you are going to put that facing away from you. So like now mine's facing you, the little ball piece, and then you're going to screw that in screw in first so I can get 
that ready to go in the screw. My screw, and I don't want to break anything. So. I'm gonna work on this screw and we'll be right back. Hi everybody, let's go ahead and keep going on this. I'm still working on, I got a different screwdriver last night. So I'm attempting to still put on the piece of the long leg that they call it, which is the long piece that looks like this. So I'm still trying to put that on. So I'm hoping I can get that here. Because we are actually almost done building our robots. Now just fingers crossed that it works. I think my problem is, is my screw doesn't want to go in straight. That's what I'm struggling. Okay, I'm gonna try a different screw. See if that helps. That's the hard part with this one is it's in a it's a tricky piece to add and then it's just a tricky spot so the screw doesn't want to go in very straight well maybe I got it this time I did okay my long leg is on yay okay so we have that one so that was step 11 so now we have to do step 12, which is the short leg, which is one just like that, but it's just a teeny tiny little piece. And that one goes into looks like the very front of this, so your bottom ring. Right. Okay, so next is the bendy straws. So now I'm gonna push a bendy straw onto each straw attachment on the body ring. So that goes on your little arm pieces here. And then put a gripper hand on the end. These little guys, these little fingers. Look on the ends. So put this one on. This looks like a big robot. Big arms. Okay, so, okay, so I have one eye done, so I was going to show you how I did mine. I just used the battery, because um, it says if you like a spiral, you can go ahead and put it around a pen. But I just grabbed the battery and just decided to wrap it around there so I can have some spirals. So I pushed it around just like that, and I pulled it off the battery, and you have a spiral. So then you take your little piece, your black disc piece, and a screw, and a piece, then you put it through your wire. bend it so that it, the bottom piece, like, fits in. There we go. Stick it in. And then you screw it down. That way your eye doesn't go anywhere. So both my eyes are done, so now I am attaching them. Oh, hopefully I can find that screw. It's down on the floor somewhere. Okay, so I'll try this again. 
attaching them to the back. So we're still on step 14. Okay, so I got both my eyepieces on. These arms are quite long, so I wonder, it doesn't say if you can trim them, but like the box shows a robot with very short arms. So I'm assuming you can probably go ahead and cut them so that they're a little bit shorter. So the next thing to do is take the sticky stuff off. The back of the eyes, it says. Second eye on. There's my robot. Okay, let's see what step 15 is. Slide an empty tin can into the body rings. Okay, so I have this my sprite can here. Move my stuff out of the way. Can is in and let's see tighten them again after so make sure everything's all tightened after you got the can in Put your arms and everything okay next is to insert the battery and fingers cross he runs to put a screw in the hole here to hold your battery in which I'm just going to loosely put in to make sure that hopefully just to cover hold the cover in place for right now okay shall we see if he works fingers crossed Motor's running. It's like he wants to go. Not enough oomph to get him going. Well, we know I built it and it works because his legs are moving. Just gotta work on figure out how to get him to go. So, send me your videos of you with your robots. I wanna see how they work. See you guys later. Oh, don't forget, this would be a great thing this weekend. With it being so cold outside, this would be a great time to put a robot together with the family. See you again.